day and uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. Recommend, recommend a little bit of information about it. This is What's up YouTube, back with another video and today I want to talk about phone mounts for mountain bikes. In the past I reviewed I think one phone mount and I went on my Amazon account recently and looked at all of the ones that I've bought over the past year and a half and I think I bought a total of seven. The reason why is because as I tried different phone mounts some work better than others and then over time you just realize that some aren't good at all. And so I have narrowed it down to two of the best foam mounts that I have, I have personally bought and used over the past year and a half. And I have one that's more on the expensive side and I have one, the one that's more on the cheap side. And so I'm going to start with the one that's on the cheap side first. And I'll put a link in the description below for this particular foam mount. And it really is a generic one that I bought on Amazon. The name of this particular mount is called the Bovan Bike Foam Mount 360 degree rotatable adjustable universal silicon motorcycle or bike foam mount. It's $15 on Amazon. I think when I first, I bought about three or four of these over the past uh, few months when I had multiple bikes. But this particular one, Actually, when it first came out, it was only like $12 or $13 and went up a couple of bucks, I guess because it's been selling very well. The cool thing about this particular one, though, is it unscrews at the bottom. And the reason why this one actually stays put more than the others, and I actually have a um, my carbon race face uh, handlebar here. I'm just going to show you when I put it on. The cool thing about it is it's kind of like a zip tie in the back. So you pull it tight, pull it down, and then you screw this in underneath it. And it's really that simple. But the cool thing is, is depending on how hard you pull on it, it's going to actually tighten that hard. So hold on, let me pull it down one more time for you guys. I'm going to put the camera down a little bit. So I'm going to pull this super, super tight. And you got to hold it and then screw this in at the bottom. And make sure you just tighten it real tight and boom. This is your foam mount. This is how it looks on the back. This is it from trying to do the side view. And that's how it tightens. You just screw this in once you pull this, um, this plastic piece down with the little ridges on it. And it just tightens in and it, it doesn't move. Like I'm pulling it both ways, it's not, it's not moving. Uh, and that's how it is on the trail. Like when I'm going over rocks or bumps or going down declines, it's uh, it's not moving at all. And basically, you just put the phone in. My phone is actually in the case right now, but it just grips in on the side. Hold on, let me just put it in for you guys real quick. And I actually have, I can keep the actual clear case on my phone, and you'll see how it mounts on the actual uh on the phone and just to show you from this side this angle how it looks up here now on some reviews people were saying that this part right here actually uh, gets in the way of swiping but as you can see I can swipe with no problem so I don't know what people are talking about when it comes to that but this is very very cheap alternative um, phone mount if you're having problems with your phone 
not staying still. Because the last thing I used to hate when I'm mountain biking is when my phone is upside down, when I put it on a phone mount, and almost all the other ones on Amazon I've used, even some of the best ones with reviews. Trust me, guys, this is probably the best one I've used um, within the price range of 20 bucks. Uh, you know, and I'm not saying that it is the best. This is probably the best one out of those six or seven that I've ordered. So I will put the link again below and um, let you check that one out. The other one that I'm going to show you is a lot more expensive. This one ranges, I've seen it as cheap as 50 bucks, all the way up to 80 bucks, depending on where you buy it from, depending on what type of phone you have, and depending on uh, whether it's new or used. So um, these have been selling pretty, pretty, uh, pretty well, and that is the quad lock. And so let me uh, put the camera down. I'm gonna take it off me and just kind of show you what I'm talking about below. Um, the quad lock, and this is what it looks like. This is the packaging that comes in, and uh, it's by uh, I think the website is quadlockcase.com, and that's one word. And this is it. This is the quad lock. And so let me kind of explain to you what this is. Now this is for your um, handlebar and stem. And so I actually have, of course, the handlebar and I actually have a spare stem to show you how this actually works. And so what you have to do is first you have to order this thing. This is the handlebar stem mount. And it comes in blue for whatever reason. You would think that it would come in black. To get it in red or black, you have to pay like an extra $10 to get it in different colors. But the the, the standard one is blue and to get it in all black or the red one which is basically red where the blue is you pay ten dollars extra which I have no idea why so anyway then you have to go with whatever your phone is you have to get a case for it so the case um, I got the XR because I have the iPhone XR so if I have an Android Galaxy S10 I have to get the case for that one if I have the um, newest iPhone 11 I got to get that case so I have an XR so I got the XR case and then you get um, I got the XR uh, poncho which is like a waterproof casing for it as well so let me show you how this actually all works so first I have a standard clear case on my phone I'm gonna take that off because that has to come off in order for this to work and then I have to use the quad case XR case now cool thing about it is this case has a locking system in the back of it it's um, a cutout basically where it locks into place with the actual the quad lock um, handlebar stem mount and so let me show you how that happens you just pretty much insert it into the case boom it locks in it's not going anywhere once that happens to get it off you press it in or pull it down turn it and then it unlocks that's the coolest thing about this thing is that it actual locks into this mount and it's not going to move so basically I put my phone into the quad lock XR case and it is a pretty tight fit case most cases I can just kind of you know squeeze in there but this one you got to fiddle with to actually get it in because I guess they want to make sure that this thing doesn't pop out while you're riding your mountain bike or any kind of bike for that matter and it's a quality case it's not too thick it's not too heavy you know it's actually a pretty sleek looking case um, the poncho this particular thing goes over it so this is a waterproof silicon very light um, cover that goes over it. So basically, I put this on top of everything, and it still has the cutouts for your head jack or your ports and your volume and all of that. So it just fits on top. And again, you can see, you can, I can, touch screen is still active, all of that with the poncho, but it's waterproof at this point in time, or dust proof, or whatever the case may be. So now, I don't have to worry about it start raining on the trail. I don't have to worry about, you know, if it's real dusty on the trail. This protects everything. So at this point in time, I need to put my mount on either the stem or the handlebar. I'm going to start with the stem first. It comes with two very strong rubber um, tightening grips. And so you have a large size 
and you have a small size. The small one can actually fit inside of the large one. The small one would be, I think, more so for the handlebar, the larger one for the stems. Now I'm going to just put the large one on the stem, show you pretty much how it fits. So that's that. And you put one on the bottom as well. So I have one right here, I have one on, on the bottom. Let me just show you. And you do got to kind of mount it tight. So now, this thing is not going anywhere. It is not going to move. And at this point in time, I lock it into my phone. Boom. This is it. This phone is now on your stem. It is good to go. This thing is not going anywhere. Now, I know you're thinking, okay, 50 bucks is a lot of money for a phone mount, but if you're just tired of trying the, you know, the the ones that may or may not work or you know, it starts to work at first and then it starts slacking and, and starts to, to fall over or droop on your handlebar. This is what you need to put everything else to rest. I, I understand it's expensive and it's a lot of money, but if you're looking for one of the best ones out there, you're not going to get better than the quad lock. It's just not going to happen. Um, it is a difficult to take off as well, but most people probably aren't going to take it off just because once you get these things on, they don't move, you know, and it's... <laughs> It can be a pain to try to get these things off. Okay, so that's those. Now, here's the problem that we're going to run into. Many of us out here who have mountain bikes have shorter stems than this. Um, if you have a shorter stem, then this isn't going to work for you on your stem, but it's also a handlebar mount. So you pretty much do the same thing. This would be the front of my handlebar if I had it on the bike. I could literally put it right here. Um, the stem's gonna be in the middle, so I can't put it here. So more than likely, it's gonna be on either one of these sides. And if that's the case, you do the same thing. You use the smaller uh, rubbery grips. And again, these things are not easy to put on. I mean, I may it may look like they're easy just because I'm used to doing it now, but you got to pull hard and you got to just make sure they're tight on there. And boom, that's it. It's not going anywhere on the handlebar. Again, I lock it into the phone. Boom. This is my handlebar. My phone is not going anywhere. It's not going up or down. It's not going left or right. This thing is staying on there. So, yeah, it's, it's a really, really good mount. I'm actually very um, happy with it. Uh, I actually got it. They think they had a sale on it. Um, I think I got mine for like 10% 10, 10 off uh, on the quadlockcase.com website. So uh, I will look for probably the next sale will probably be 4th of July weekend. You know, if you're interested in getting one and try to find it for a cheaper price. They do have, I've seen some on eBay, um, but you know, again, you have to make sure you get the right case for your phone. They do sell it as a, as a whole kit if you get the the poncho, the case, and the handlebar mount, or you can buy these in individual parts um, if you want to do it that way. So now um, I want to show you one more thing with this particular mount that I think I'm going to do. So these right here, they only come with four of these, two larges, and you got two small of the rubber um, attachment mounts. So. I went, I have these, and I put these in another video before, I have these rubberized zip ties. And if you can see it in the camera, where it's blue, that's rubber. And the reason why I like these zip ties is because they won't scratch up anything. It's not plastic, it's rubber right here, so it's soft. The only thing is, these are thick. I can't find any rubberized ones that are thinner than this. So these are the only ones I could find that have the rubber texture in the inside of it. And so because of that, um, I have to go with these. And they come in, the only colors I've found so far are these blue ones, they have some red ones and orange. And so I have a few of every color. But what I can do is there's enough room here for me to actually zip tie the front and the back of this part right here of the mount. And I can actually zip tie this, the actual frame. And I think that may be best for my use of the phone and where I want it to be. Um, and let me show you that on camera of what I'm talking about because my stem is too short to put it on the stem. 
and I have enough going on on my handlebar with the brakes, the dropper post. I don't really like it right there on the front of the handlebar, even though I have, that's where I normally use it. But let me show you what I'm talking about when it comes to putting it on the frame. So I kind of want to show you guys what I'm talking about. I would like to put this actually on the frame itself. And as you can see, it's really too small to go on the frame. Um, it doesn't it doesn't fit, but it's not built for that. It's built for the handlebar or the stem. I can't put it on the stem. I can put it on the handlebar. But again, I just I never like my phones right there on the handlebar. I would rather have them here, but I don't like the phone bags and all of that other stuff you can buy. So what I thought about doing was actually just getting these rubberized zip ties and zip tying it to the actual um, to the to the frame and it would fit and these are reusable so I don't really mind uh, you know zipping it in just to show you real quick as you can see which way did I do that I'm not going to zip tie it all the way just because, but like see right now it's already not even moving. Like it's tight already and I haven't even zipped these all the way as tight as, excuse me, I haven't even zipped these all the way as tight as it can go, but this thing isn't going to move. Like once I zip tie this thing tight, this thing is there put. So I think I'm going to keep it that way and just actually zip tie it to the actual frame of the bike. It's not going to scratch the bike up because again, I got these rubberized um, zip ties and uh, you can get those on Amazon as well. If you just put in the search uh, rubber zip ties, you know, you'll see them pop up. And so, yeah, I think this is, I haven't tried it this way yet. I've had it on the handlebars work great. I can't put it on the stem. So I'm going to try to use it on the frame next time and see how that works. And if that's, if that's, if it doesn't move or, or, you know, start to um, slide around, I'm going to keep it uh, going this route more than anything. So, so yeah, you could check out their website uh, just to see what other products they have on there. Again, and these zip ties are really cool because they are reusable. So you'll see as I actually um, zip them, you can just pull up on it, push the zip tie out, and they just come right off. So these are reusable. Um, but of course, if you did it this way, you would have to um, you would have to cut the zip tie at some point as well, um, just because you don't want those pieces hanging off. So that's pretty much it for the quad lock. Uh, I just went on their website just to check a few more products. Something else that I think I'm going to order is they have an actual handlebar extender. I think it's called the um, called out front mount. And the out front mount actually attaches to the handlebar, but it it extends the um, it extends the actual mount out from the handlebar. And I just noticed that it actually has another attachment that you can buy that you can attach your GoPro camera to it underneath the mount. The problem with that though is is I'm sure it's not going to be stabilized that well, and it's going to be bouncing up and down if you attach a GoPro camera to one of these things um, so yeah I don't I don't see how that would be that great but I may order it and check it out and give you a heads up on that uh, once that gets in stock so other than that guys I hope you I uh, hope this helps when it comes to finding the right foam mount but again these are probably the two best options that I found if you want to go the cheaper route get this one if you want to go the more expensive route but the route that's not going to move and definitely going to fit your knees more than likely the quad lock is definitely something that I recommend. And yeah, it is costly, but you know, that way you don't have to worry about trying um, the trial and error with a lot of these Amazon uh, foam mounts on there. So other than that, guys, hope everyone's doing well. Catch you in the next video. Peace.